Greetings from the Redeemed Christian Church of God in Oklahoma City. This is the Open Heavens for October 11th, 2019. Open Heavens is a daily devotional written by the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor E.A. Adeboe. We thank the Lord Almighty and give Him all the glory because He's the one that has woken us all this morning and we pray that even as we go to the study of his word his life transforming power will fall upon us and allow us to make changes in our lives where we need to in the mighty name of jesus amen the title of today is a question a lover of gifts are you a lover of gifts are we lovers of gifts? That's the question we'll be answering through the devotional of today. The memory verse is Luke chapter 12, verse 15. Luke chapter 12, verse 15 reads, And he said unto them, Take heed, and beware of covetousness, for a man's life consists not in the abundance of the things which he possesseth. And 2 Kings chapter 5, verse 15 to 27 is the Bible reading. 2 Kings 5, 15 to 27. And I read, And I returned to the man of God, and he and all his aids, and came and stood before him. And he said, Indeed, now I know that there is no God in all the earth except in Israel. Now therefore, please take a gift from your servant. But he said, as the Lord lives before whom I stand, I will receive nothing. And he urged him to take it, but he refused. So Naaman took, said, Then if not, please let your servant be given two more loads of earth, for your servant will no longer offer either burnt offerings or sacrifice to other gods, but to the Lord. Yet in this thing, may the Lord pardon your servant. When my master goes into the temple of Rimon to worship there, as he leans on my hand, and I bow down in the temple of Rimon. When I bow down in the temple of Rimon, may the Lord please pardon your servant in this thing. And he said to him, Go in peace. So he departed from him a short distance. But Gehazi, the servant of Elisha, the man of God, said, Look, my master has spared Naaman the Syrian. Why not receive him from his hands what he brought? But as the Lord lives, I will run after him and take something from him. So Gehazi pursued Naaman. When Naaman saw him running after him, he got down from the chariot to meet him. And he said, Is all well? And he said, All is well. My master has sent me, saying, Indeed, just now two young men of the sons of the prophets have come to me from the mountains of Ephraim. Please give them a talent of silver and two changes of garments. So Naaman said, Please. Take two talents, and he urged him, and bound two talents of silver in two bags with two chains of garments, and handed them to the two of his servants, and they carried them on ahead of him. When he came to the citadel, he took them from their hand and stored them away in the house. Then he let the men go, and they departed. Now he went in and stood before his master. Elisha said to him, Where did you go, Gehazi? And he said, Your servant did not go anywhere. Then he said to him, Did not my heart go with you when the man turned back from his chariot to meet you? Is it time to receive money and to receive clothing, olive groves and vineyards, sheep and oxen, male and female servants? Therefore, the leprosy of Naaman shall cling to you and your descendants forever. And he went out from his presence, leprous as white ah snow may god bless the reign of his word in jesus name amen so as you can see from that bible reading gehazi was covetous he was a lover of gifts and that is something that should not be found in us as god's children and that is telling us here that some people love gifts even more than their lives and of course what is that covetousness and Jesus Christ even from that memory verse we read earlier warns strongly 
against covetousness. Like we just read in the story of Gehazi. He ran after rejected gifts. Because Elisha has already said no to receiving those gifts. He ran after it. And we know the, the repercussion, the consequences. He became leprous. And in this whole story, because of course, from, from the Bible reading we read, he went ahead to go meet Naaman and say, okay, yes, the gifts that Elisha re rejected, the, that he, he now wants it. And he thought Elisha didn't know about it. And when he got back, he even lied again. But of course, we know that even from that Bible reading, that Elisha was like, went on my heart with thee. He knew what he has gone to do. And that is telling us, even in, in, the topic is about covetousness, a love of gifts. But from that story of Gehazi, there are two lessons that Daddy also wants us to, want to point us to. Now, the first lesson is that God's eyes run to and fro the earth, and He sees those who secretly toy with sin. Gehazi thought he was secretly toying with sin with, that nobody we know of covetousness, but God saw him. Even Elisha was able to see that revelation. So God sees those who secretly toys with sin. So that's one critical lesson. Another critical lesson is that there's a time for everything. There's a time to receive gifts, and there are times when gifts must be rejected. So that's another important lesson. And gifts can only be rejected by those who are not lovers of gifts, by those who are not covetous. And that is why that is very important, because somebody who is very covetous will find it so hard to reject gifts even when they are supposed to be rejected. Of course, we already saw what happened to Gehazi. There was instant judgment and he became leprous. In line with that, that is telling us that it is vain, vain to run after gifts that are not approved by God. Let us not run after gifts that are not approved by God. That's another important warning that is given us through this story of Gehazi that we read about. Because when we do that, what happens? We have to be careful. Because the love for gifts and some of those gifts are ill-motivated and can destroy one's future. That's another reason why we have to be careful not to be lover of gifts. Because they can destroy our future and our destiny, just like it did to Gehazi. And Lord, if there's a prayer that that is praying for us to at the end, it says, may the Lord spare you the agony of gifts from ill-gotten wealth in Jesus' name. Amen. And the prayer point in line with that is that Father will deliver us from the snare of covetousness in Jesus' name. Father, in the name of Jesus, O oh God, you have taught us even in your study of your word today, that we should not be lovers of gifts. Father, Lord, we should not be covetous. So we pray, O oh God, that Father, please deliver us, Lord God Almighty, from the snare of covetousness in the mighty name of Jesus. Every snare of covetousness that the enemy wants to use us to, to rob us of our destiny, of our future. Father, we pray that Lord, you will deliver us from such snares of for covetousness in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, O God. In Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. Thank you for watching, and we hope to see you tomorrow by God's grace.